and the next president of the United States, Miss Nikki Haley. Thank you so much. Now, I have seen all the commercials that you've seen. And I've seen the mail that you've been reading. And every single thing that Donald Trump has said or put on TV has been a lie. Check with the fact checkers. Every single thing. When you go out on Tuesday... You're going to decide, do you want more of the same or do you want something new? Now, I always speak in hard truths. I voted for Donald Trump twice. I was proud to serve America in his administration. But rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. Y'all know I'm right. Chaos follows him. And we can't have a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. And more than that, 70% of Americans have said they don't want a Trump-Biden rematch. The majority of Americans disprove of Trump and Biden. And look at what they're doing. When you hear Trump speak, what's he talking about? Grievances? The past? He's talking about vendettas? Today he's in court? Biden's talking about investigations. Neither one of them is talking about the future. I'm doing this because I'm, I don't want my kids to live this way. We do have a country to save. But guess what? You get to start saving her tomorrow. So if you like what I have to say, go tell 10 people. Get them to the polls. Tell them that this is the moment that we start to get things right on track. I have watched the entire political elite yesterday and today. I've watched the entire media elite yesterday and today say that I should drop out for the good of the country to support Donald Trump. Let me get this straight. Donald Trump won 56,000 votes out of 3 million in Iowa. He got one and a half percent of the vote in Iowa. America doesn't do coronations. We believe in choices. We believe in democracy and we believe in freedom. I have said I love the live free or die state, but you know what? I want to make it a live free or die country. And we're not going to stop until we do it. So let's get everybody out to vote. Let's show all of the media class and the political class that we've got a different plan in mind. And let's show the country what we can do. And this is my promise to you. If you join with me on this, I promise you our best days are yet to come. God bless you. Thank you so much.